the last few games have been a lot tighter, the 1-0 wins over Tottenham and Burnley. And w your team have shown a different side to their character, to their play in, in those games, you know, digging out a result with a character and mentality. H how important is that going to be in the next you know, week or two in terms of the, the, the title running? And how impressed have you been with the ability to, to do that when they're not playing with so many goals uh, scoring? Well, I think we played, we played uh, for a score more goals. So, but the way sometimes in the last games of the season when everybody played for something, always the games are more tight, you know. The people take with more caution about what happened. We play for, of course, for the Premier League and sometimes a little bit your mind is thinking about what's going to happen. So that is normal. But important is, uh, you know, in Burley we didn't concede one shoot and target, we didn't concede one corner away. And that is awesome. That is incredible for our side. And we create enough chances to score more goals. Uh, and Monday we're going to try the same. Is, is that your message to the players though now? It's not about scoring lots of goals or pretty football. It's about getting the job done and getting the points in the final <laughs> yeah, two Yeah, but, but to, to do a job done, you have to score goals. Mm. Especially if you score two or three, uh, the job will be easier. So I um, never said when you score one goal now, forget to attack or more, more just to defend. But sometimes you have to defend because the opening, the openings are better, are, are better. So we're playing good. So no, no, we're going to 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 try to create chances and concede few and win the game. And if we can score more, the last minutes will be more, it will be easier. I I know you're thinking of the now, uh, but I wonder if I can take you away from the now for 30 seconds and thinking of what's happened this season that's different to last season. What I mean by that is uh, how do you maintain the concentration of the players, the intensity? Was it less of you than last season, more of the coaching staff? What's different compared to last season? No, I said the difference is Liverpool. We did the same, the same job. So the staff work a lot. Uh, all departments, I think all the club and the players, of course, <laughs> they are the reason why. But I think we maintain the same level. That it was the target in the beginning. We were able every three days maintaining there until the end and we did it. When right now we are one point in front. Uh, so against Liverpool, when I saw the way they play in Camp Nou and said, wow, we are in that level because they, they, they show me Incredible good things, Liverpool in Camp Nou and Barcelona as well to you know to keep this phase and playing beat them 3-0. So they lost, I think, one game in the in the in the Premier League and now in the here in in semi-finals. But we have more than 20 points for the third position, the four and the five and the six in the league. So it's I didn't expect honestly when we arrived, I didn't expect to maintain that level because always when you have 100 points, everybody can think or start to think oh. Now we don't do what we have to do, a little bit less because we are good, because we won. And it was completely the opposite. Every three days in all competitions, we, we, we try to play and to try to win. Sometimes it doesn't happen, didn't happen. So it's football. We accept when we lose and shake hands for the opponents and congratulate them. But arriving this stage, two games left, we needed 20 points after 100 points and being there, being there, that is the most satisfaction I have as a manager. It's not easy, really, honestly, it's not easy. And they did it again. And now, still we have three days, Saturday, no, two days, yeah, two days and uh, three days before Monday game and, and try to finish, not try to finish, to win the game and, and go to Brighton to, to have in our hands the chance to be champion there. And is there a day in this season that you thought, oh, I'm not sure if we're going the right way and all of a sudden the team surprised you, a moment in the season that comes no, to your mind? No, even when we lost, even when we lost the two games, even when we lost the two games in a row, Crystal Palace and Leicester. Yeah, in December, it was a little bit... We were not playing the same, you know, maybe intensity than, as usual, but you can understand 11 months. But the reason why we're seven points behind in that moment is because Liverpool was unstoppable, you know. Make a row with a lot, a lot of games winning. And and that's why. But after that, we have, when the people have no desire, we cannot do... 12 games in a row winning, you know. So I think in general, in general, we were incredible stable, incredible high profile, you know, in every game being there. That is my feeling. And 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 that's why we still, again, concede few goals, but most importantly, we concede few chances in every single game. They didn't shoot too much. 
And and we create we score a lot of goals in every game we create a lot of chances even in important sides important games in a top side we make except one defeat in in Stamford Bridge and draw in Liverpool we won all the games so it's it's incredible the, what we have done so but will make more sense if we are able to lift the Premier League. Hi Pep, I'm Jerry Jacks from the Guardian. You know you say about how you've been able to maintain the level of, of last season. Is that basically because of leadership? So within reason, what, whichever 11 players you choose, you've kind of got yeah 10 or 11 leaders out there who can win, know how uh, to win, know how to come back from a difficult situation. Yeah, it's much better to have a lot of leaders than just one. It's much, much better. Uh, I, would, I, I prefer th they can lead what they feel than I lead them. So I suggest them more than lead them what we have to do. But the end responsibility, they have to be in their hands, and in that case, in their feet, on their heads, uh, to, to do that. So especially after the feet in Champions League, that was a, a point like, wow, they've shown me incredible. So after that game, with a tough, you know, pass to, we are in semi-final, one second later, we are out. And two days and half, no, yeah, 12.30, you know, and, and Saturday. So thank you, Premier League. And 12.30, play there. And after the tough, tough morning, you know, and, and, and fight with the incredible sunshine, with the humidity, and it was a tough day. And the people fought like incredible team as Tottenham. And there, and after going to Old Trafford, and after go to Barley, when everybody expects we're going to drop points, we didn't drop points there. So that showed me incredible. And that is not the manager or the staff to leading something. It's the personality of the players to, to do. In that moment, I like to see the teams, not when we, we win 10 games in a row, eight games in a row, and everybody is more comfortable and the mood is good. In that moment, we were so sad, everybody in the club. And in that moment, we, we did it. And that, showed me, that showed me a lot of things. As a coach, can you draw that out of different players, the leadership qualities, or do they have to have it in them? From the start, you know, can you bring that out? Can you develop that? I, I like sometimes the personality. Sometimes you you realize the people who talk a lot, and the personality is when the start goes on and how they react in the bad moments. That is their personality and how they stand up in the bad moments during the game or after one defeat, a big defeat. And and in two seasons they did it. Last season, for example, no, we we, we make an incredible, you know, three zero. In ultra in in Anfield, and after arrive here in 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 against um, United, in the first half it was four five zero, and after we lose the game, and after again we play incredible the first half against United, uh, Liverpool sorry, to score two or three goals, and after, okay when they score we fell down, but after we went to Tottenham and we won zero two, so the people react well when 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 we have a knockout in our faces, but. In the same times now, it's not time to to take a defeat because if that's happened, we are not going to win the two titles. We are in 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 course. Hi, Pep. Paul Hurst from the Times. <clears throat> You've been involved in one title race that's gone down to the the final week before with Barcelona in your second year, I think. What was the most important thing uh, that you remember from that week um, about you and your players that got you? Over the line, and the job you have to do. If you won't anticipate, if you win or you lose, and thinking about the hypothetical thing is going to happen, that is a big mistake. So every player has to know what they have to do in the game. So at the end, it's what we have done. Of course, adapting the quality from Leicester player and after Brighton. But the job, what you make a team stable is what you have to do. You know, oh, if you win or lose, no. That's why the tactics is important to know what you have to do, everybody. Training uh, as much as possible these days and know exactly what you have to do, what you have to do. Because if it doesn't work, now exactly we know why it doesn't work. Because we don't do what we spoke, what we talk, what we're training. That is the best way to, to do it. Uh, approach him like it's a normal single game. That is the best way. What we prepare in the Carabao Cup in the first round or FA Cup in the first round, the same way we're going to prepare the Leicester. That is the best way to prepare the important, the important games. Do you see that focus from your players that you've got now? Do they have the well, same kind of... It, well, they, they had two days off. They had two days off and after they, they came yesterday, 
our training was a little bit okay the first day, but today they came back. And today they train in a, a strong, yeah. And still we have two more days, so tomorrow we'll speak more against against list about Lister and and prepare the game. They will be ready. They will be ready. They know exactly what they're playing for. So eleven mount fighting for for being there. So I think maybe we can lose, of course, but I don't think they are not going to drop. You know the, the tension where they have to do. Hi, Pep, Jack Gorn for the Mail. With the 192 points that you've got over the two seasons so far and being able to come back every every week and win games, is this, the, for you, is this the most satisfied you've ever been as a manager? Yeah, it's the toughest league I've ever played since I managed this one. Yeah, the toughest one. For the quality from the, the rival. Yeah, no doubts. That's why being there uh, it's, it's incredible, but of course, so o only one, you know, will be will take the prize, and the other one will be at home set. So where would where would you rank it for you as an achievement over your career to if be able to be able to being there a lot, a lot, a lot. One of the the, <laughs> the biggest ones, the biggest ones, yeah. Sure. Just on on that that Jack said, is is there is there more pride and enjoyment in what your players have done this season than last, given the way that they have gone again? They've not looked at the hundred points and thought, oh, yeah. we've done it. Yeah. The way they've the way they've reacted to the injuries you had, the way no. they've reacted to yeah. the challenge of Liverpool. Is there, is there more pride and enjoyment this season from your point of view? Being here, yeah, we have to win to to give credit that more credit, of course. Uh, but uh, he, the, the fact I would not say that 100 points was bad, and I'm not. We are not satisfied with what we have done last season. I'm not going saying that, but in the same time, in the we were seven points. Especially you, you give credit to the titles and uh, how huge is our rival, and it is. So in my career as a manager, I played with incredible against incredible sides, incredible. But there are especially two There was, wow. One is Barcelona, Luis Enrique, with the Neymar, Messi, and Luis Rodríguez in front. The second one is this Liverpool. I think it's the best two sides I ever faced like uh, as a manager. And that's why I, being there in our hands and f fighting against against them until the end, being seven points, but after 100 points, when you are seven points behind, you can say, it's done. We did last season. And opposite of that, we still, you know, we we were like a stone, ta -ta -ta -ta. and and after that we arrive here. And to be seven points behind and not give up and come back like you've done, despite and I know you, you won't ever look for excuses, Pep, but you had you've had so many players out, key players out for long times this season, and a lot of teams would have been floored by mm. that, but. You've come. Your players have come through all of that as well. Yeah, no, what I said many times. But at the end, we will be judged for the results. So I hear sometimes about words about the game from Liverpool and Barcelona was not good or bad decisions. I don't know what they can do more. <laughs> yeah, maybe score a goal or maybe they had the chances. But going, I know I, I was there a few years as a manager, and after I went there twice as an opponent and going there as an opponent and, and playing Camp Nou is really not easy. And they did it incredible. And like they did incredible, I give a lot of credit to, or more credit for Barcelona to beat, you know, 3 0 to, 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 to Liverpool. And, and last season was incredible, but this season we fought against an incredible team. We have everything physicality, runs in behind, uh, they improve a lot in the, in the positional game. They attack when they defend the deeper, sometimes before they had the problems, now they solve it well. So defensively, they score, they concede a few goals. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm so delight, you know, after what happened. Because I didn't expect, especially I didn't expect get the point that we got this season so far after we have done last season. Now with the tendency, the human being is relaxed a little bit. And, and after we're in the toughest moments in the period, November, December, we're seven points before. No, when we played here against them, it was, we lost about 10, 10 points. And we had that feeling in November, December, they are not going to drop many points. And you have to say, OK, it's gone. 
and it was completely the opposite. But not just in competition, in the Champions League, in the, in the way we, we live, in the in the Carabao Cup, in the FA Cup. Uh, that I, I'm I'm so proud. I'm so proud of my players and the, all the the club organization, the, all the staff that help us to be in there. But in the same time, we have to be realistic. Now it looks like a farewell issue, a last press conference to analyze. You know what they have done so far. Still, the truth is, you have the two games, tough games, and and you have to be focused in in doing a good, a good, a good, a good game because Leicester again. I was really impressed with what we saw the way we play. Okay. okay. Thank you.